I'm Gary Zukov, and I want to talk to you about the soul. Well, I always want to talk to you about the soul. That's why we have the Seat of the Soul Institute. That's why I wrote The Seat of the Soul. That's why Linda and I have written the books that we have, and that's why we offer the programs and the activities that we do. Everything revolves around the soul. However, until we entered a transformation in our consciousness, a transformation in the consciousness of humankind, we weren't able to talk about the soul except as an idea or a theological concept. And that's because the transformation in our consciousness that we have entered, or that is upon us now, is the transformation of us individually and collectively from, a, from five sensory personalities into multi-sensory personalities. A five-sensory personality is one that's limited in its perception to what it can see and taste and touch and hear and smell. And it evolves by exploring the physical world with its five senses. That's external power. Now we're becoming multi-sensory personalities. Personalities that grow through emotional awareness and responsible choice. Personalities that grow through aligning themselves with their souls with the assistance and guidance of non-physical guides and teachers. Well, you can see already, just with these things that I've said, none of this made sense to the five sensory species that we were. And it doesn't make sense to the five sensory individuals who still inhabit our earth. This is changing because in them is now emerging multi-sensory perception. So I want to talk to you in this video about psychology. I love psychology. I used to study it. At one time I thought I'd get a degree in it. But I discovered something when I began to look at the impact of multisensory perception. That is, psychology doesn't apply. It can't apply because psychology doesn't recognize the soul. This is a little ironic because psychology means the study of the spirit, but it's never been that. So psychology comes as close as it can without recognizing that we, we actually are spirits. And so it studies affect, cognition, and perception. That means how we feel, uh, what we can see, how we think. In other words, psychology has been the study of the personality. And so dysfunctions of the personality have been approached from these limitations. But as we become multisensory, we begin to see that dysfunctions of the personality cannot be understood, much less healed, without an understanding of the soul. The personality is a physically reduced counterpart of the soul, and therefore healing of the personality cannot occur at that level at the level of five sensory psychology, because it does not take into account the soul of which the personality is an energy tool. Put it this way, all of the distortions of the personality, such as hatred, resentment, overwhelm, despair, jealousy, brutality, cannot be understood apart from the karmic circumstances that generated these dysfunctions or these distortions. These distortions are exactly what the personality, the physically reduced counterpart of the soul, takes upon itself into the earth school so that the soul can be seen as it is when it's in the control of these aspects of itself. A shattered soul, a soul that's not whole, a soul that's not integrated. Creating authentic power is the process of integration, the process of becoming whole. And the vehicle for doing that is your personality and your free will.